Testing for HIV and detecting people who are infected is the most important task in the overall approach to the epidemic. Uh, we have over a million people in the United States who are infected, and a significant proportion of them um, do not know this. Uh, we're now three decades into the epidemic, uh, and we have tried numerous strategies uh, to dwindle that number. Uh, so that people recognize that they are infected and come into a circle of care, and none have been particularly successful. Uh, this is the most aggressive initiative uh, to date, and it, it eliminates the vagaries. The vagaries are obviously based upon uh, screening type questions. Uh, many diseases that deal with lifestyle issues putting you at risk regarding your sexuality or use of uh, illicit substances are by definition uh, going to be insensitive. Uh, so I'm, you know, I, I'm increasingly optimistic, uh, yet I think that there are many obstacles to make this work. Just to piggyback um, off of what Dr. Calabrese had said, um, you never know who's going to be HIV infected, and a lot of the new cases that we have seen are patients that may not have fallen into those high-risk groups. So catching it earlier um, is even more important. Patients are at their highest risk of infecting others um, early during their infection. So we recommend catching it as soon as possible. And this way, we're opening it up to the general population to help decrease some of the stigma that's en encompassing HIV infection itself. Uh, the use of in-home testing is still, you know, fraught with some controversy. Uh, the early phases of the epidemic uh, were characterized by, you know, very heightened concern uh, for the re reliability, the accuracy, and the coupling of testing to counseling. Um, while this is a possibility, I actually, in my own practice, have not seen anyone self-diagnosed uh, with the use of such testing. And I'm really not uh, uh, confident of the, uh, uh, of the overall uptake or impact this has had on the epidemic. Are you, do you know any of the data on that? I haven't seen. Um, I don't know. I'm not familiar with any of the data, but most of the patients that I've seen that are new diagnosed as well have all been either diagnosed in their physician's offices during a life insurance screening or at one of those quick clinic rapid screen types of settings.